Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host Craig Chamberlain and this is the iCast series where I do the best that I can to answer your questions. Seriously, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> so, if you have questions, post them in the comments below because I'll just keep making the videos because this is a lot of fun for me. I'm a nerd. This is what we do. We just talk. Am I, am I a nerd or a geek? You guys tell me. Am I a nerd or a geek? Explain that to me. I don't know. I think I'm a nerd, but I can't tell. I'm an 80s guy, so Revenge of the Nerds, that's what I think. So anyways, enough of the divergence. Can you upgrade your 32-bit operating system to a 64-bit? Now, in the last video, we talked about how to check whether your computer was 32-bit or 64, and one of the advantages, how much memory your computer can hold. 32-bit does have a distinct disadvantage of only being able to hold 4 gigabytes of memory, whereas the 64-bit, depending on the operating system you have, can hold up to 196 gigabytes. So, can you upgrade? Can you just all of a sudden switch from 32-bit to 64-bit? No, that's what sucks, okay? Uh, I'm going to go into a little more detail here, but uh, in a nutshell, no, that option is not available to you because it has a lot to do, well, it has everything to do with the bit structure and the uh, installation structure of your operating system. It does not allow for you to just all of a sudden come in there and, and modify all the file types that were in there because the file, the, the way the files are designed have, operate on a different bit level, and, and, I, and I don't really want to say, let's just say 32 bits is this long, okay, and every file in the operating system is designed to process, run, and, and function on this level, and 64 bit is this long, okay, so the operating system is designed with all of its file structure to run at files this long. So you can't somehow magically take something that's designed in this way and make it capable of doing something this big, okay? It's like asking a Toyota to do a forge job. Um, that, that is not even a good, fair comparison because a Toyota could at least try. Uh, it, it'll just every time, okay, it's, it's like trying to, to squeeze an a, a, a object this large through a hole this small. You know, you can try all you want, but it's, it's just never going to work out. So in a nutshell, first we need to find out if your operating system's uh, 32 or 64. I went over this briefly in the last video as well. If you go to the start menu and you select it, go to computer or my computer, right click on it and select properties, there's going to be a system tab and that system tab is going to have either 32 bit, well not, it's either going to have x86 or it's going to have 64 bit. If it does not have 64 bit, then you have a 32 bit operating system. What are your options then if you, if you want to switch to 64 bit from 32 bit? Really, the only option you're going to have is to back up all of your important data, all the data you want to have, and you're going to have to reinstall your operating system into a 64-bit environment, which means you're probably going to also have to go out and buy a 64-bit operating system or download one if you're going to do Linux or, Ubuntu, uh, or one of those distributions. I was about to say Ubuntu, but it's one of the many distributions of Linux or if you're going to do any kind of transitioning. But if you want to upgrade from a 32-bit to a 64-bit, unfortunately, there's no way to do that in a way where you can just simply upgrade. Okay? So, I mean, unless there's some grand thing that I missed, which I don't think there is, unfortunately, that's your only option. Now, if you need help specifying an operating system for 64-bit, remember, you can just go to Google and say uh, Windows 7 comparisons, and then you can kind of look at the differences between all the new Windows 7s, because they're really the only ones that have 64-bit options available to you. Uh, XP does, but it's a joke. So don't don't even touch that with a 10-foot pole. I, I went down that road, road. No, no, do not do that. That'd be a huge mistake. Uh, I guess I did kind of lie. Vista does too, but if you're going to buy a new operating system, don't buy Vista, okay? Buy 7. Vista was pretty much the beta test for 7. seven I mean, Vista offered some awesome new structuring, but it was a, it was a test environment to get a more stable 7 out. I mean, uh, people have argued with me on that. But it admittedly, it had so many new modifications that the, <laughs> the structure behind it was, was intended to kind of be abusive towards the people who used it until they could perfect 7 and release 7 that everybody loves right now. And unfortunately, they're moving into 8, which is a huge dramatic overhaul. But it, it does look at the mobile market future. So there's, there's some advantages to that too. So anyways, I, I'm digressing. That's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I can't answer them if you don't ask them. And you can also follow me on Facebook and on Twitter and on YouTube and on every other social network that's out there probably. And I don't even know if I'm on there sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. And uh, don't forget to stay tuned because I kind of like you. <laughs>